It's Miss Joanna, and this is your virtual violin lesson for Tuesday, April 14. Wow, we're back from spring break. I'm so excited to get back into the violin. I hope you had a lovely spring break. I hope that you were able to get outside a little bit and enjoy the weather, and soon the flowers will be blooming. Um, I see crab berry trees all over the place with little soft pink flowers and little soft white flowers and that's my personal favorite. But what are you looking forward to in the springtime? I hope that you're having a wonderful time wherever you're at and I'm looking very forward to seeing you all again soon. Okay, let's work on our tuning. So uh, as before, uh, just listen to me play for a second to get an idea of the pitch and then start playing. You can play at the same time as I'm playing. And if you feel like this is something you're still learning more about, that's absolutely fine. The more you try it, the easier it'll get. So let's start tuning our A string. And of course, at any time, feel free to pause the video or to go back. Here's the D string. Moving forward, Music House had an idea that was uh, it would be more effective to do lessons online if we only have one group lesson a week. And instead of having the second group lesson, we are going to have private lessons with all of the students. So I've seen some of my students at Skinner this last week and um, if you haven't set up your private lesson, uh, call Music House, send them an email, and they'll help you to do that. Let us know how, if this works. We'd love your feedback. If you feel like this is a great way, please let me know or let Music House know. And if there's any way that we can help other than what is currently being offered, please feel free to share that information with us. Um, anyway, so this is our lesson for the week. And then I'll have a private lesson with everybody. Uh, and if you haven't set that up, please contact Music House. And um, let's start with our G major scale. So we're going to have a metronome going at 60 beats per minute. And we're doing G major instead of C major because I want you to listen closely to the notes. Try as much as you can to make the same sound as me. And we're going to start going slow with half notes. If you feel like you need to move your finger around to make the note that you're playing sound more like the note that I'm playing, that's just fine. Okay, let's start with our bow on the G string. Make sure you've got a nice stop sign hand and that you've got a nice curly pinky. And uh, here's your introduction, G string. <laughs> Great job. 
listen very closely and uh, when we play slow like this I know that maybe some students might feel this is too slow for them that they're ready to take it a little bit faster and what I want you to know is that all musicians, especially adult professional musicians, do play these scales slow so that they can listen carefully because it's a skill to take time and listen carefully instead of going fast all the time. Um, we're going to do it slowly one more time. Same speed. G string. Ready. Go. One. is also something that bears practicing that professional musicians focus on intentionally. It's not just going fast that requires practice and attention, it's also going slow. Okay, let's play the G major scale two times with quarter notes. And here's your introduction. to sing the eighth notes. So the quarter note right now is set for our, or the metronome right now is set for our quarter note. So there's our quarter and we can say along with it, let's say ta, 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 ta. Okay, that's our quarter note. Let's say our eighth notes and we're going to say T, T. So two eighth notes per quarter note two T's for each quarter note beat of the metronome. Ready, set, go. T, 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 T. Great. We're going to try saying triplet, and we're going to have triplet eighth notes. That means we're going to have three um, eighth notes for every quarter note in as, as triplets now instead of as eighth notes. But anyway, you'll get the hang of it. So for each beat of the metronome, we're going to say triplet, 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 triplet. Ready, set, here we go. Triplet, 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 triplet. Okay, and I guess the last one we could say would be the sixteenth notes, and that's um, um, one e and a one e or one e and a two e and a one e and a. Hmm. 
You know what? We're going to come back to 16th notes on another day. Let's go ahead and play the 8th note G major scale. So T, 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 T. G string. Ready, set, go. with triplets. Triplet, 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 triplet. One, two, three, G string set. One, two, three, G string go. Let's try it again. Ready? One, two, three, ready, set. One, two, three, G string go. Job. Okay, that's enough of the G major scale, and we're going to go on to ear training. So we're going to play with the metronome, and we're starting on the G string. And I'll say the notes, and you play them with me, um, and let's see how it goes. So our first ear training is going to be on the G string. G, A, G. G, A, G. Hey. 
A, B, C, B, C, D. I said the wrong note. G, A, B, C, D, C, B, A, G. Once last time. G B D Wait a minute. G B D G B D G Okay, well that's enough of that. Um we're going to play through Ina Klein and Knox music. And we're going to play through it one time, and after that we'll do our shout-outs and our small break. Uh, we're going to work on some of the stuff we reviewed from last time, and maybe we'll work on chromatic uh, descent, and maybe we'll work on some new stuff. Uh, then we'll have a little I Can Read Music, and we'll be ready to play the game. So get ready to play Ina Klein Knock Music. And as before, if you feel like you are uh, needing to take it slower or there's parts that you don't know, that's absolutely fine. And it's really good that you try to play Ina Klein and Act Music with us, even if you feel you don't know the music all yet completely. That is practicing a skill of trying to pick up and stay with the music that other people are playing. That's a very valuable skill for a violinist to have. Uh, a lot of times, you know, if you're working a job or if you're um, in a orchestra that's playing like a composer's music for a film, it's a really important skill that you are able to sight read the music, to just see it the first time and play it, and also that if you do make a mistake, just keep going, don't give up. Um, that's very great thing to be able to do. So, on that note, let's play it one time. And here's your introduction. Ready, set, go!
B. Ready, set, go. Oh shoot. Up bow, ready, set. Third finger, A string. One and two and ready, set, go. Ready, go. Rest. Rest. Up. Rest. Rest. Dropped my bow in the middle of playing that. Ah! But these things happen. Okay, uh, let's take a little break before you stop the video and do your own thing for two minutes. Uh, let's give a shout out to all the students. So last week we won the game, and also. I know that if you're trying and you're watching this video that you're going to be doing fine with the violin. The important thing is to just keep trying and it's almost a guarantee that you're going to advance. Um, and I know with all of my students at Skinner West, if you are trying to play the violin, I will guarantee to you that you will progress. You will get better at it. So. We've got, everybody's got two tickets or stickers or both right now. And one student has been posting to the homeroom and I'm really proud of you. So Myra, thank you for sharing your homework with our uh, virtual class. And let's give you a round of applause. <laughs> Myra! Mary, uh, yeah, no, Myra! Myra, take a bow! I want to say hi to all my students. I want to say hi to Regina and hi to Sanvi. I hope that you're both doing well. Regina, I saw you for your private lesson and I'm glad that you are still working on the second violin part. It sounds like it's coming along. Uh, Sanvi, I hope that you're hearing this and seeing this and wherever you are, I hope you had a great vacation. I want to say hi to Vivian and to uh, Sophia and to Miriam. I imagine that all three of you have music in your life at this time and I know that if you're trying with the violin that you will continue to grow. Uh, let's say hi to Gabriella and Chloe. I remember you two always sitting together and having the same stand, and I am so proud to be your teacher. I hope that whatever you're doing, that you're enjoying it, that you're being kind to yourself and being patient with yourself, and as far as violin goes, I'm very proud of the progress that you made in our class, and I hope that you're either playing violin or just having fun whatever you're doing. Um, I want to say hi to Monica and to Simone and Sydney. And I hope that you're all having a great time, that you had a great vacation. I can't wait to see you again. I hope I get to see you for private lesson. Um, let's say hi to Morgan and to Skylar and to, um, let's see who else on this list. Uh, Anushka, 
Oh, all of you are such wonderful students and I hope you had a great vacation, that you had some, maybe some celebrations this last weekend as it was a religious uh, holiday or, you know, any kind of holiday. You can have a good time. It's good for some chocolate. It's good for you. Um, I want to say hi to McKenna and to Annabelle and to, did I say hi to Elaine? We'll say hi again. I hope that you're all having fun and that you are able to, you know, get outside and stretch your legs a little bit and express yourself and play games and play with your toys if you want to. Or just, I hope that you have some time to um, make sure that you're, you know, you know, that life's still exciting and fun and new and different. Anyway, I'm thinking of all my students and I wanted to say hello. So that's what I did! Okay, now if you'd like to take a two minute break, it's a good time to stop the video. Uh, what are we going to do? What should we do next? <sighs> Let's see. Okay, welcome back to Skinner West. Uh, let's work on first violin part. We're going to work on the part that um, where I dropped my bow. And uh, that's measure 30 in the music. Um, and we're counting the eighth notes. So we're counting... Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're counting eight eighth notes in the first measure. And the first eighth note, we just count silently in our head. So let's count to eight together. Ready, set, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. So we're going to do that again, but now we're going to count the one in our head. Ready, set, ready, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try that two more times. Ready, set, ready, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. One last time. Ready, set, ready, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. So we counted the first measure of eighth notes. And after that, we've got only four eighth notes before our um, note changes. So let's count to eight and then we're going to count four. And uh, remember the first one we count in our head, the first number we count in our heads. And let's try it three times if you want to just listen this time, that's fine. Ready, set, ready, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Great. Two more times. Ready, set, ready, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Okay, last time. Ready, set, ready, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Great. So let's try playing it. Uh, third finger on the A string, and we're starting with an up bow. So we're just going to play third finger A string, and we'll do our counting. Okay, get ready. Ready, set, ready, go. Rest, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. That's it. Let's do it two more times. Ready, set, ready, go. Rest, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Good. Remember to start with an up bow. And let's do it one last time. Ready, set, ready, go. Rest, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's practice the next uh, set of eighth notes. It's all the one down bow, and we're going to play it four times. And we're playing D, low to A, high to on the D string. What note name is that? Did you guess? That no name, high two on the D string, is F sharp. <laughs> I wonder who got it right. Let me know if you got it right, I guess. Sure, why not? Okay, so down bow, listen first. And we're going to add the two notes after that, F sharp and G. And those are up bow. Down, 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 up, up. So um, let's start third finger on the A string. Ready, set, ready, three, low, A, high two, two again, three, again, 
down bow D go C A F sharp F sharp G two more times third finger A string a little bit faster ready go let's do it two more times after that one two ready D, third finger A string ready set go Last time, or two more times? Two more times. One, two, third finger, A string, ready, go. Last time, third finger, A string, set. One, two, ready, go. Cool. Let's try it three times from our D. Uh, so, Rest two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. D, C, A, F sharp, F sharp, G. Okay, starting with an up bow. Ready, set, ready, go. Rest. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Let's do it three more times after this. Four times instead of three total. Okay, get ready. Let's try it again. Third finger on the A string. And remember to start going up in the air. Ready, set, ready, go, rest, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Two more times. Ready, set, ready, go, rest, six, eight, two, three, four. So as we play this in performance, of course, we don't want you to count out loud, but you can whisper to yourself and you can count in your head. Maybe whispering at first will be easy and then later counting in your head silently will be easier too. Okay, last time. Ready, set, ready, go, rest. Great, we tried that. Okay. Let's uh, work on measure 49 and 50, and we'll play that, I don't know how many times. Well, let's try it out. So, starting with measure 30, uh, 49, and our third finger on the D string, we're going to play G, then no fingers, and then we walk up the scale to G, G. It's going to sound like this. D, one, two, G, G. Good, let's try that again. Third finger D string, ready, go. D, one, two, three, three. Two more times. Third finger D string, ready, go. D, one, two, three, three. Last time, third finger D string, ready, go. D, one, two, three, three. Okay, we're going to add the B, A, G, A, B, and that's all going to be one down bow. Let's just try that part. Okay, all one down bow. Ready, B, first finger, A string. Ready, go. Four more times. Listen first. B, A, G, A, B. Ready to play. Ready. Go. Listen. B, A, G, A, B. Okay, let's do it uh, three more times. B, first finger play. Go. Let's sing it. Ready, sing, go. B, A, G, A, B. Ready to play. Ready, go. Sing it last time. Ready, go. B, A, G, A, B. Play it. Ready, first finger, A string, go. Good. Let's work on that whole section from third finger on the D string. G, D, E, F sharp, G, G, B, A, G, A, B. So starting third finger on the D string. Here's our first time. Ready, set, 
third finger go. D, one, two, G, B. Circle bow four more times. Third finger D string. Ready, go. D, one, two, three, three, B. Three more times. Third finger D string. Ready, go. D, one, two, three, B. Two more times. Ready, third finger D string. Ready, go. Last time. Ready, third finger D string. Ready, go. Great. Well, listen, that's that's about all the time that I have for today. I'm going to go start teaching private lessons, but um, we're not going to play through Ein und Klein and Nacht music again, but if you are ready to and you want to replay it, after this video is done, click on the link in the comments below and you can go back and play again with the Ein und Klein und Nacht music from earlier. Okay. So, great job, everybody. Congratulations, we're making progress with Ina Klein and Act Music. Um, your homework for this week is to record yourself playing Lesson 29 in the I Can Read music book. And so I'm going to play that for you, and I'll put the music on our spreadsheet um, and make sure that you check it out. Okay, so Lesson 29, and right now you can just listen to it. And we're starting with um, the pitch lesson. Okay, lesson 29, ready, one, two, here we go. Line two, ready, set, go. Line three, ready, set, go. Line four, ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Okay, and let's go right ahead to the rhythm lesson um, in lesson 29. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, or ti. Ti, ti, ri, ti, ti, ri. One, two, ready, set, line one, ready, go. Line two, ready, set. Line two, ready, set, go. Line three, ready, set, go. Line four, ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. That's all that I have time for for today. I ran out of time today to do the game. I'll have to post a video of the game to uh, the to the homeroom app. Okay, bye everybody. Have a great week. Bye.